Hello all, welcome to Tech Capture. So in our previous video, we started learning a Google agent development kit and we created our first agent and we had a small discussion about what is ADK, how ADK works, what is agent in ADK, what is tools in ADK. So we add only a small introduction about ADK. Now this video onwards, we are going to jump into each of these components of ADK and we'll see each of these component functionality so in this video we are going to discuss mainly about tools in adk and how tools work so we will see first what are the different types of tools how this tool works and then we'll try to do a hands-on demo with each type of the tools so let's say there are uh, built-in tools there are a uh, function tool there are third-party tools so we'll try to integrate our adk with each of these uh, tool types okay so first try to understand what is a tools in adk okay so in adk tools means a special ability given to an ai agent so just take an example if i am asking a gemini about a big query it will help me but if i ask my google gemini that query my big query table data so it won't able to answer that because it does not have any external integration to connect with the google bigquery so in this case tools will help so tool is nothing but special ability given to an ai agent okay so tools lets agent do a action and interact with the world beyond just writing text or reasoning so llm is having a special generative capabilities it is having the uh, writing capabilities or reasoning capability but beyond that we can provide of external world access we can provide the third party tool access using the tools in adk okay so what makes an agent powerful is how well uses a tools compared to a basic language models a tool is usually okay this is important so tool is usually a small code in it either it is pre-built which is like handled by the python libraries or you can write your own python function and call it as a tool or you can use a built-in tool just like google search you can use a google search along with the agent just like a tool so there are a multiple options are available using a tool so each tool is built for a specific task okay so tool does not perform a lot of tasks that LLM will do a lot of tasks, but each single tool can. Let's I'll take an example. So I will show you demo for a GitHub agent where we will create a two tools. One is to create GitHub repository and one to delete a, dip, a GitHub repository. So each of these tools is perform a specific task, one clear task. So my create github repository function will perform a creating repository task but my delete repository function or tool will perform only the deletion task so these tools are built in for a specific task okay that task often involves working with external system so in given example my tools interact for a specific task with the github so specific task either a creating a repo or a deleting a repo okay so using a tools we can perform various operations so few examples are querying database in bigquery so we will see demo in our video how we can query a data from the database just with a few prompts using the agent so making api request so we'll see this example also along with the github then searching on the web so we will do these examples as well using google search or a wikipedia tool and executing the code snippet that also we can do by writing our python function okay so now this was about the tool now let's see how tool works so i'll give you one example okay there is a root agent and user is interacting with the root agent now user is asking some questions so we have a two tools attached to our root agent one is query big query data and one is creating the github repository but how your agent will understand which tool to use so there are certain steps involved at the back end while your agent execute a tool or it start using a tool or decide which tool to use so what are these backend steps or what happen at the backstage when you are start using the tools okay so agent will decide based on the user query which tool to call and which function to execute but how the backstage it happens so first a reasoning so all llm models comes with the reasoning capability so in our case mostly we are using gemini so let's say if user ask a question okay query or give me the top 10 records from my BigQuery table. Now my LLM is having reasoning capability and based on the LLM capability, it will identify, okay, a user's query is related to a BigQuery. So it will select 
the BigQuery tool. So based on the reasoning capability, it will choose the right tool based on the description or doc string. Now this description or doc string is a description of your agent. It will decide based on the descriptions of agent or sub agent where to route your request. Once you are it decide, okay, I need to query a BigQuery data, then it invoke the BigQuery data along with some input. Let's say I'll give example of GitHub repo. Now the user prompts create a GitHub repository for me. Now my tool decide based on this user basic based on the the reasoning capability okay the user is asking about the github repository or creating the github repository then it will create the invocation request along with the parameter so now let's say creating the repo it need a repository name so it will take that as a parameter and invoke the tool along with the parameter okay and it will capture the tools output that okay if my github repository creation is successful or it is failed and then it will pass that message back to the users so this is how the whole process of a tool works at a backend okay so you will see a lot of documentations about tools but just try to remember how tools work so based on the users input it just apply their own reasoning capability your llm will decide which tools to invoke so you should always give the better description and better prompt to perform your agent in a more efficient way okay and once your agent decide which tool to call it will collect the input from the user and invoke the necessary tools after the tool execution in happen it will get response from the tool and provide back to your root agent or the agent which invoking the tool okay that is the simple for you have to remember and that is for your understanding once you understand this basic thing you will understand how to use a tools more effective manner okay now let's see what are the different types of tools okay so there are various tool as i mentioned a flexibility of supported tools so first is a function tool so these are nothing but just like you can write your own python function or java function and in function tools also you are having functions or method that is one option you are having agent as a tool it means you can use another sub agent as your tools you can have long running function tools so this is one type of options of tools then you are having built in tools so for this built in tools you don't need to write any kind of code you have to just import it so these examples like google search uh, code execution tool vertex ai rack search engine or your bigquery so these are the built in tools available in uh, adk so we'll see the examples in this video at the end of this video with the adk uh, built-in tools and then we are having a third party tools so third party tools contains the external library just like a langchain tools or a crew ai tools so we will see example hands-on demo on these types of tool as well so this was just overall uh, introduction of tools how tools work and what are the different types of tools and how we can make our tools more efficient by putting the correct descriptions and giving the more appropriate instruction that is the prompt to your agent so now let's go to the hands-on demo and we'll try to see a first a built-in tool in a ADK.